everyone, and welcome back to the Raw Rogers channel. And guys, I'm so happy because the rest of the um, total anime wave has just come in, and we're kicking it off with the Jazzwares Total Anime Izuku Midoriya from My Hero Academia. Looking at the front of the box right here, it looks really neat. Of course, you get this massive window showing all the accessories you get, the figure as well. Um, you get this name right here on the side of the box. You get this picture of Deku, um, the Hero Academia logo right here, the Total Anime logo, Jazzwares logo, and then up here you get the number which falls into the line, and then you get the little um, plug of Crunchyroll down there. On the other side of the box, you get his name as well, the Total Anime logo, and this little picture of Deku. And here in the back, you get this really cool, like, almost a like digital render of the figure. Uh, again, the number which falls into the line. And this little um, checkbox or checklist of the other figures in the wave. In case you didn't see it last time, these are some of the other figures. Um, unfortunately, Chainsaw Man hasn't been released yet, but he's still here in the lineup. But there is Eren Yeager. We just did Yuji uh, Itadori. And then, of course, Anya from Spy Family. And then on this side, you get this really cool, massive logo of Hero Academia. Uh, the total anime logo again. And uh, the number which falls into the line. On the bottom, there's just some warnings. And up here, you get this really cool shot as well. But I'll go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. And here he's out of the box. And looking up close, it's so cool seeing, you know, another addition to this lineup. And having, you know, Deku finally in hand, he looks really neat. I love the amount of detail. Uh, of course, uh, this is when he gets, you know, more of the advanced gear. Uh, this isn't like his first look, so that's really neat seeing more of a, uh, you know, recent look on Deku instead of giving him the uh, original style. But I'll go ahead and start from top to bottom. Look at the head. It looks amazing. Look at that. I love the printing in the face with the eyes, the eyebrows, the little freckles on his cheeks. But overall, looks incredible. I love the uh, sculpt. And then, of course, you get his very, very spiky green hair. Um, but I love the amount of detail in that. It gives it that uniqueness like we see in the um, anime and the manga. Um, especially like with the uh, molds and things like that they use. Really, really cool. But... As far as articulation, he does have a joint here at the neck and the top of the head, so you get plenty of movement here side to side, back, and forward. Looking at the torso, you get his awesome sort of like uh, green outfit with little hints of black going throughout it. Um, and then real cool, I forgot to mention this, he has his original mask uh, around his neck, so that's a really neat detail. You can see it has like that metal coloring right here with that silver and then it's draped here in the back. Um, he does have, like, these, like, things around his shoulder. Um, he has quite a bit of wrinkles, which is neat for, like, that little splash of detail right there. And he does have a ball joint right here in the upper waist. So here's side to side, back, and forward. Look at the arms. The arm sticks out right there. Um, I'm trying to be careful with these joints. Don't want to be like last time. It does go all the way around. Um, he does have a double elbow. I'm going to try and get that pushed up if I can. He does have a double elbow. Goes about there. He does have a swivel near the um, shoulder right here. And he does have a swivel here in his glove and at the hand. The other side as well. Arm sticks out about there. Goes all the way around as you can see. Um, he does have a double elbow right there, has a swivel here at the shoulder, and articulation at the wrist and at the hand. Looking at the waist, he has this, uh, red belt with some pouches going around it as well. Has a black belt buckle right here, and then it continues with his suit. He also has a, uh, separate ball joint right here in the lower waist right here near his hips. So that's very nice if you want to get some extra movement. Look at the legs. He does go on a um, full-on split. He does go into a sitting position. His legs go back right there, as you can see. Um, he does have a swivel right here, 
in the thighs and I'm telling you these joints I gotta be very very careful with these he does have a double knee I'm gonna try and fix it up best I can right here let's see so he obviously has a double joint right here as you can see like it's supposed to go even further than just the kneeling position but I mean it's that fear man like I don't want to end up breaking his leg and then ruining this review but like I'm trying to be as delicate as possible and it's just like there it's supposed to go even further than that but it's just the idea or that thought of mine where it could just easily pop off it's totally like different from you know other figures now have the uh, mindset of having to be careful and stuff but it should go you know further than that because there is this extra joint up here so he should be able to go all the way back but a kneeling position is probably your best bet and then finally the worst part of it all is the feet so i'm just gonna have it recording but i doubt you know anything would happen so the feet do point down like that they do have rock wrinkles as you can see so that is really cool and then of course the overall look of his boots i've always loved with it being like this heavy duty sort of like, you know, bottom part of like this bottom sole. And then of course you get his traditional like red sneakers. Going over the accessories now. Of course, these figures do include a stand. So that's really nice and, you know, helpful to uh, know that that's there. I actually didn't even see. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, hold on, hold on. Because I, this barely came to my mind. This, um... When I was mentioning the stand, uh, Itadori had this. So this is a, like, action stand kind of uh, part to the backing of the torso. And so you just remove this little piece. has a peg where you can place the action stand. But if you don't want it, you can just place it right there. goes in nice and easy. But that just came to my mind. But yeah, the action stand or like this normal stand right here is really nice. It is made of like a clear plastic, um, has a single peg to put his uh, foot in there. But overall, works really well and, you know, it holds up. Up next, he comes with two face plates. He comes with an angry expression and a smiling expression. To put on another face plate, just like with Itadori, um, you take off the hairline. Basically like an SH figure actually. Um, after you remove the hairline, you can then shimmy off the um, faceplate right here. Wait, <laughs> Once you shoot it off or shimmy it off, <laughs> you can then place the other faceplate on top. Put the um, pegs back in position with the hairline. And there you go. I gotta say it again. I love the amount of detail in these faceplates really brings out that look you know that we uh, have seen throughout the anime or the manga just really brings out that character design and then real quick here he is with his smiling expression up next he gives the hand accessories he comes with two fists and two of the finger flick or the delaware smash um sort of like looks to put on another hand you can take off uh the hand that you're replacing by pulling it off the peg and then after you're done with that, you can then place the other hand inside of the peg just like this. And this is where he's doing his Delaware Smash so you can like mix it up a bit. But overall, it looks really cool. Of course, you can like straighten it out, do things, do different poses with him. Man, that's awesome. And then of course, you can change it up and pose him in any way you want. Look how neat. I thought this action scene was kind of cool, like him backing off or preparing for his punch. But man, they did Deku right. And last but not least, you get some energy accessories. You get these really cool, like, energy, uh, sort of, like, shock accessories that go on uh, the figure. Um, of course, is whenever he's, like, charging up or using uh, one for all, which is really neat. They come in this, like, clear, iridescent, like, plastic but yeah, so like for instance, if you want to like, you know, you can attach them pretty much everywhere. But like, you know, if there's like certain areas like wherever like the uh, 
charges are coming from, you can use those to your liking. This bigger one, it goes around like his uh, neck. So it goes like around his body, things like that. Sort of like this. But it's pretty cool. Um, he also has some like for his legs. You can also attach as well. I think this one goes around his ankle. But yeah, it's really neat. I love that whole idea of like, you know, gives you opportunities to use it if he's like um, using a final smash or, you know, one of those specialty moves. He can, uh, you know, charge up on those specific areas. So that was an overview of the figure. Honestly, this is one of my favorite uh, ones so far in this lineup. I gotta say, they did Deku right. Uh, I know... We are supposed to get like the SH Fig Arts version later on. But for right now, this is really, really cool. I love the overall look of Deku. Um, you know, they got everything on point from like the accessories. You know, the accessories are great. Um, the overall look of the figure. And even though there was a bit of that tension and that thought in the back of my mind of it probably breaking things like that. Overall, I had no problems with it. I even managed to get the double elbows working. <laughs> so maybe it just takes some loosening up, but, you know, just keep that thought in mind that sometimes these figures are a little bit more fragile. So, um, you know, be very careful and cautious with that. But overall, great figure. But I'm really here and say if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like. And if you like the content you see here on the channel so far, be sure to subscribe. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram page. Hope you guys have an awesome yesterday. I'll catch you all on the next one.